Getting down to it. Are you ready? <laughs> he says, let's be real. There are going to be loot boxes in this game, isn't there? We can't really comment on uh, MTX or the Earth systems for that. Actually, fuck you. Why should we have to pre-order the game to play a beta, and then you can't tell us about how you're going to fuck us later? All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am back. I'm no longer sick. I have been consumed by the World of Warcraft bug I've been playing. I have three days of game time in the last six days, which is insane. Um, I could drop a video talking about World of Warcraft. I could drop a video talking about the fact that Infestation World was announced by Sergei Titov's Free Reign Entertainment, yet again, another game. Uh, but that's another video for another day. I could drop a video about this Zoe Quinn situation and about how people are still defending her, even though somebody took their lives over uh, the, the hate mob, the cancel culture mob. I got into a lot of arguments on Twitter about that from a lot of dumb fucking people. I could be talking about all of those things. But today, I figured I'd start off my return to the YouTube atmosphere talking about uh, this Call of Duty microtransactions uh, discussion with the developers. Now, I've seen a couple of videos. Now, I believe this video was from Game Informer. They were asking. I, it sounded like they were bringing in questions from the audience or like an AMA on Reddit or something like that. And um, they basically asked them straight up, how exactly are the microtransactions going to work in Modern Warfare? Because I think that's what everybody who is kind of on the fence, and I've seen a lot of comments on my videos. I'm really excited for the game. And it's something that we haven't really talked about is the microtransactions because we know Activision. We, we know they're going to try to milk this game for everything it fucking has. We know that that's what's going to happen. But they haven't talked about it yet. And this is something that kind of irritated me. Um, that they came out and they said that they weren't at liberty to detail how they're not ready to talk about it yet. Uh, which really pisses me off because... When it comes to games in the AAA space, this is something that I believe should be a part of your marketing. I, I get you don't want to talk about it because it's a controversial thing. Nobody wants you to just rake us over the coals with microtransactions. So when you don't want to talk about it, kind of kind of makes us makes us sketch out a little bit. Now, granted, the developer's response on this Reddit thread asking about the, the microtransactions, um, Ashton Williams, who is the senior communications manager, said, please be patient, we hear you, and we'll share more as we get closer to launch, AKA, we'll say more when we're ready. Um, okay, fair enough. We better hear about it before launch, and we better hear that you aren't going to be putting guns behind loot crates, whatever, pay to win anything. I don't want to have to buy a fucking gun with real money. That is the biggest thing that I am scared of that this game is going to have. Loot crates, if it's behind it, what, regardless, I don't want to have to spend real money to buy a goddamn gun. If we're talking about weapon skins, that's a different story. I don't mind that. It's cosmetic, not a big deal. But here's the thing. They came out in this video and they said that they want to do what they're calling a player first or player forward system. And he kind of explained that outside of a few promotional skins that they're going to be selling, all the, the weapon skins are going to be unlocked through in-game leveling, in-game rankings, challenges, and all that stuff. That's how you're going to unlock weapon skins. And so when I hear that, that sounds good to me. I think that's how it should be. But... Where are they making their money? That's what I'm really... Like, if you're not selling us weapon skins, what are you selling us? And they've already confirmed that there's no season pass, which, again, great step. But when I think about it, again, it's the same thing. So you're not going to sell us skins. You're not going to sell us a season pass. What's left? All post-launch DLC is going to be free to the players. What's left? Or are we going to be looking at a battle pass route where you buy a battle pass for, I, I mean, I don't even know how Fortnite does it. What is it, $10 every three months or something like that? Which gives access to special cosmetics and other stuff for multiplayer, maybe single player, or spec ops or whatever. Um, I would actually be okay with that if that was the case. If, if the game comes out, like, because we, we got we, we to look at, at 
a, a give and take situation at this point. And this is where we're at as gamers, consumers versus developers, because it is a versus scenario. What, what can we be at? Where is the line in the sand? No season pass is good. The fact that we can unlock camos and skins with, uh, with just playing the game, good. But they have to make money because Activision isn't leaving money on the fucking table. They're not. If they do a battle pass and a battle pass comes, say, every three months or whatever, and you buy it for 10 bucks and it gets you access to cosmetics, not guns, but cosmetics, I would be totally okay with that. I think the idea of having loot boxes in this game should just be out of the equation. I think if you give us access to, let's say you can unlock a weapon skin, let's say five weapon skins f per gun. Let's just say for an example. And then I can buy a battle pass, which gives me access to a skin per gun every three months that I buy. Maybe a, an operator cosmetic or whatever. And it's all cosmetic. I'm totally cool with that. And then on top of that, if you guys really wanted to get into it and start making more money, sell us direct just skins. Let people choose the skin they want to buy for the gun that they are using and just let them buy it outright without doing a pack, without doing a fucking loot crate, whatever. And you will make money doing that because there's no gambling. There, there's It's just player choice. That's how Fortnite does it. That's how games like League of Legends do it. When you buy skins for champions, people pay for that shit because you know what you're getting when you buy it. Price it well and you will make a fuck ton of money, especially in a game like this. Do not put guns behind a, a, a weapon crate, a loot crate, a battle pass, anything that costs me money out of pocket. Just do not put a weapon there and we will have a grand old time. And the thing about this one is I am so excited to play this game. I'm not even hating on the game itself. I'm looking at the past history of Activision. When we look at Black Ops 4, a month after launch, they introduced the COD points, which uh, is essentially they can be spent in their black market, and it's a microtransaction. Why do you have to do it post-launch? You wait until all of the reviews come in. Everybody loves the game. Game's good. Game's super dope. No microtransactions. I think Activision's learning a thing or two. And then you drop it again. So now I have to sit here and I have to be like, I'm excited for the game, guys. But if you're not because you're wanting to wait for the microtransactions to see what they actually do, I get it 100%. And I have to sit here and be like, maybe if this is a worry for you, don't buy it at launch. Wait a month and see if they're going to do the same shit they did with Black Ops 4. Because if you don't learn from the history, you're bound to repeat it. And everyone is going to feel burned that they bought this if they start introducing microtransactions back into the game a month after launch. And another thing, like if you're going to do it and you're going to keep it to weapon skins, don't do what you did in Black Ops 4. Where you, where you have to drop the money to get the fucking firearm special order. And then you have to earn the skins after you've already paid for it. What was it, like almost 20 bucks to unlock two weapon skins? Price it right and be fair. And people will give you all of their money. It, it, like, it, it is just the simplest thing. Be fair about it. And you will have a game that could potentially last a long time. Even though I guess that's not what Call of Duty is about. Yearly releases every single time. So like, I, maybe I'm just fucking preaching to deaf ears. I don't know. I'm just so fucking sick of being excited for a game, talking about it, and then having people comment about the microtransactions. It's not your guys' fault, I get it. It's the AAA industry in a nutshell that we just can't have a group of gamers be excited without having to worry about, well, what are they gonna be doing? What's the shady shit going on in the background? What are they planning? I understand companies are here to make money. Your bottom line is the most fucking important thing to you. But, like, just be fair about it. I feel like that's what everybody is asking for. And, like, it just, it feels like you just can never do it in AAA. Especially games like Call of Duty. They always just try to get more fucking money. A battle pass would be the way to go as long as it's fair. As long as it's priced good. I think people would be okay with it. If you just make it good, I would be okay with it. I would buy it. I would buy something to support the game as long as it was fair i would i would pay to support the game even though i've already fucking paid my money but we have to do a give and take now because we are so far down this microtransactional rabbit hole 
that this is where we're at. The fact that the 60, 70, in my case, because I live in Canada, the $80 buy-in isn't enough. This is what we have to deal with. My name is Big Fry. Let me know what you guys think down below. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. I know a lot of people, every time I talk about Call of Duty, the microtransactions get brought up. And I'm glad you guys are thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I just wanted to see how long it would take for them to mention anything about it. And they're still sitting here being like, hey, give us your money with the pre-order, but we don't want to tell you about how we're going to fuck you in the ass afterwards. It's pretty scummy. I'm not a fan. The fact that the game comes out in about a month and a half and we still don't know just how they're planning to monetize the game post-purchase. It's pretty pathetic. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you like and share the video with a buddy on Facebook, on Twitter, please. And if you guys really fuck with the content, you can support the channel for a dollar a month. If you guys become a member, the link is down in the description and the top comment down below. I appreciate you guys so much. I am back from the WoW vacation that was the last week of my life. And now we're going to start talking about some real shit. Thank you guys for everything. My name is Big Fry. And I'll see you on the next one.